everybody, Felix Stoppeldegger here. This is the Hope House. This is Bitcoin Beach. This is downtown El Zonte, El Salvador. And we are about to show you what's going on inside El Zonte, what's going on in the Hope House, just some of the stuff that people are doing here and how great everything is in El Salvador being on a Bitcoin standard. You can pay with your meals, Bitcoin, you can do everything. And there are many people around the area and it's really, really cool. There's a little um, sign right here. People are selling stuff. You can see over here. Just gonna wait to turn. No problems. Everybody's just chilling, doing their own thing, making a living. No worries. Gracias, sir. And then we look here. This is the official Bitcoin Beach sign going to the Hope House. This is a staple in El Zonte. So I just wanted to put that out there and show people, you know, there's a lot of talk, especially from the U.S. Embassy, of people being attacked down here or falsely imprisoned or it being crime ridden or any number of things to basically try to get you to not come here and I just refused to buy into it because I was listening to locals who are living here who are saying that after 50 years now everything's better people are able to do what they want they're able to uh, have freedom and this country is on the verge of an explosion something like a, a nuclear bomb like when you or like an atom bomb when something splits you know you've got all this pent up stuff going on but whenever they move to the side and let people do their own thing left to their own devices they can explode in success and freedom and just all the stuff that you would expect from a successful nation we're this nation is literally going from agrarian farming subsistence. There's a, a solid portion of this entire country that uh, have to go get their water. They don't have running water. So people don't take that into consideration. But man, when those kind of things are allowed to happen, they're gonna move from an agrarian society to like the most advanced technological society. They're gonna leapfrog the United States because they're not doing anything to help themselves like El Salvador is so that's all it really takes and Hope House is where that all started so I just want to put that out there Stoffel Baker out